All right. So let's create validation rules. We are going to create a validation rule on the account object so that when a record is updated and the user or the staff check the box, this account has a support plan, but then forgot to enter the support plan expiration date, it will give a validation rule. Oh, you forgot to enter the support plan validation or expiration date there. Okay, let's go and move to our trailhead playground. I'm going to go to my gear icon and set up and go to the object manager and then go to the account object where we will be working on. And we will have validation rule here at the bottom. And let's make a new one. I'm going to copy the name of the validation rule. So rule name, support plan expiration date required there. And then it's active. The description would be this. I'm going to copy that. And now let's play with the, um, the rule itself. So enter this um, formula and let's talk about it. So this is the formula for the error condition, All right? So when this formula is met or it's true, right? It is when the error will trigger. This error will appear. So when do we want the error to appear? When? When the has support plan checkbox is checked or true. So has the support plan field is checked and the support plan expiration date is blank. Okay. So if the, if the has support plan is checked, but the support plan expiration date is blank. It's not filled. If that is true, then display this error message. So we are going to check the syntax here. No errors found as we can see, of course, because we're just copying and pasting from the trailhead playground. So now the error message, this is the display. This is the, the error that is going to be displayed. And then we decide where to display it. Select field as the error location. So it's going to be displayed on the field itself. Okay. And then the field would be support plan expiration date, which was blank because we forgot to fill it in. So this is the error message. I want the error message not to be on the top of the page, but, but it's on a field. The field is ham support plan expiration date. <laughs> Where is it? Support plan expiration date. Okay. There it is. And save. And that's pretty much it. And let's, um, let's actually try it out. All right, if I go to accounts, I'm going to search for accounts. Okay. Edge communications. Going to the details field. I'm going to close this guy. Say we are editing this. Let's edit. And then on editing, we are going to check the box has support plan, but then the expiration date, support plan expiration date, we forgot to enter it or we want to take this out. Okay. So this has a support plan, but the staff forgot to fill this in and try to save it. Boom. Error is going, is going to be on this, on the field. Okay, so next, create an opportunity validation rule to force users to create a close reason when the opportunity stage is closed loss. If it's closed loss, why is it closed loss? I'm going to copy the rule name. Let's go back to our um, home here and go back to our setup here. 
I'm going to close and keep that on. Now we're heading to opportunity object. Validation rule, make a new one. Close reason required when lost. A close reason is required when the opportunity is close lost. That's the description of it. And let's put in the actual rule and talk about it. This one. So, is the pick list value of stage name is close loss? Why do we use is pick val? You can't use a stage name equals close loss because if it's a pick list field, you have to use is pick val, right? Or you can also use a text. You can also use this, the text function. This will also work. Text of the stage name equals close loss. That will work as well. So you can do this or this and is blank the close reason. So the reason is blank. The user um, forgot about filling up the reason. Then if this both are true, this is true, it's blank. And the pick list value of the stage name is close loss. Then display the error. So the error condition is met. What error display? Let's display this error. Copy that. Oopsie. Put it here. And where do we want it on? Field. On the field. The error is on the field. Close reason. Wrong window. Field. Close reason. Boom. Okay. So I'm going to save that. And let's give it a try. If I go back here and I go create a new opportunity or let's just go to pick any opportunity. Um, all opportunities. I think we have one. So this one, for example. And if I edit this one and I say it's close lost close loss but I forgot to enter the reason the close reason here the close reason I, don't, I didn't choose any and I try to save it it won't allow me there is an error see you must enter a close reason when an opportunity is close loss so that's working as expected so that's it Now let's verify the step and that concludes our customize a Salesforce object project. I will see you on the next section of our um, Salesforce admin certification preparation. Bada bing, bada boom. Woohoo! We've got a shiny new badge. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom